Well, I apologize for the glare coming from this window, but it's uh, uh, something I just want to do right now is take a, take a little video and show you what I'm doing for cuttings. Now, this this bed right here is a deep water culture. Um, what I've done, well, this this tank here is uh, just sitting on top of it, and it has a recirculating pump, and it just it just flows back through the the gravel down in here, which is is the gravel filter for my. Uh, uh, aquaponic system. Now, about cuttings, some things go really, really easy, and other things are not so easy. So for example, these begonias, uh, you can't fail with them. They mean simply you cannot fail. All you, you don't even have to use rooting hormone. You just cut them off, stick them in to dirt, and they go. Things like uh, this rosemary. Um, Let's see, bottle brush, um, this is a Cuba. Uh, let's see, what else? I've, oh, I've got some cherry trees over here. Um, roses, roses are actually pretty easy, but yeah, anything with a with a hard hard stem, uh, they're a little. I'd say just a little bit harder. Um, but these fast growing begonias. Oh, and then things like this uh, purple velvet plant. Um, oh, easiest of all is this, uh, um, what is this, it's a perennial purple collard tree, and the, the reason it is in a cage is because it is such a tasty item that rodents come into my room here, my, and, and they eat it. I, I have had it chomped off twice, and it's still alive, it's, it's still got two little sprouts coming out, but for gosh sakes, I had to I had to build a, a wire cage around it just to keep the mice off it. Uh, which you know I do have. It's just this is out in my shop, and uh, you know it's being outside and heck, I got uh, fish food and stuff out here. I mean it does seem to attract a, a mouse or two. So yeah, that would be um, that would be uh, my advice is just to use the this um, perlite. And I don't really think you need this uh, this uh, painter's strainer bag because uh, I've done I've done straight into the into the flower pot here and it really hasn't escaped. Once it gets wet, it it, it packs down pretty good. So um, and that that is all sitting in my deep water culture raft system. And what I've done is I I put some. Um, I just put some flower pots down in there, and uh, then I sat these trays. You know, these are these are those trays when you buy a flat of uh, of say some kind of a ground cover or something from the nursery. They they come in these flats, 18 by 18 or so, and uh, so that's what I've got here. It's just just enough to to keep to keep these to keep these just a in an inch. Inch of water is all I've got there. Uh, so it wicks up. Yeah, basically this is a wicking bed, isn't it? So it wicks up into the perlite, keeping it at a very nice uh, moisture. And um, so I take my cutting, uh, I clip it off at an angle just below the, the leaf node, strip off almost every single leaf on, the, on, the, on my uh, cutting. Uh, dip that in some um, hormone and plop it in the in the perlite and just wait and I'll tell you what you know it, not everything goes I'd say I have a way better than 50% success rate but you know don't even worry about it just just do it just take your cuttings I mean, what does it cost you? Just a few minutes, you know. Take your cuttings, plop them in the in the um, in the perlite, and uh, see if it goes. If it doesn't, what'd you waste? You know, you didn't. It didn't cost you anything, basically, and uh, and except it's just a little bit of time. And and uh, so, if you just 
do a lot of them if you're having a bad success rate, I guess. <laughs> You'll get it. You'll get a bunch of stuff going. I mean, pretty soon, man, I'm going to have to have a, a plant sale here. Okay, well, that's my advice. Talk to you later.